Hello, hello everybody, this is Grimias bringing you Stairs. Uh, this is an indie horror game whose demo was played a long time ago by a lot of YouTubers actually, so you might know this game. But ever since that demo, um, it changed a lot. It changed drastically actually. It, it, it pretty much became a whole new different game, to be honest. And uh, it looks good so far from what I've seen from the trailer and... Uh, also, it's screenshots, and it's been getting some good previous reviews. So I decided to give it a try. So without further ado, let's descend down the stairs of madness. My name is Christopher Adams. Freelance journalist looking for a new story and someone to sell it to. Lately I've been looking into three missing people, but with no luck. Valerie Berkeley, James Reed, and Jean Jowers Remens. Berkeley was allegedly kidnapped by the other two and is presumed dead. There was no ransom note, no exchange. All three simply went missing for three years. Until now. Police found the body of a young female yesterday in the old factory outside of town. According to my contact, it was Berkeley, killed by strangulation. So why would a kidnapping victim turn up dead three years later? Are Reed and Remen still involved somehow? I'm on my way to the factory now. If nothing else, I'll get some photos before anybody else does. It was probably demons, or ghosts, or maybe both. I thought I turned the subtitles on, hang on. Uh, yeah, I turned the subtitles on, but apparently no subtitles for the beginning. Alright then, uh, let's see. And you actually have a camera in this, so it has a very uh, Outlast feel set, but it doesn't obviously use night vision or anything. And there's our journal, we have notes, and we I think we have to like take pictures of certain things. Uh, well, we are a journalist, so, you know, that makes kind of sense. I found a way to the factory to walking about. Should be close now. Yes, we should. Alright. So, starts off in a forest. Cool. It's always nice when a horror game starts in a forest, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect from this. Since, like I said, the demo that was played, like, years ago is very different now. To what it is now and yeah and I think there's our first picture hang on let's see how how try photographing the big door okay say jump scare yeah <laughs> that was like the perfect opportunity come on now it really was what's this stuff don't know all right and hold shift key to run I I've, I've actually been doing that game but thank you for noticing and I think this is the way to enter the factory, uh, since that door is locked. Police tapes. I don't want to touch that. And oh, uh, I think this was another picture. Hold on. Yay! What else is? So I took those two. I have to take a picture of the crime scene. Police tape. By the by, outline of a body. Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> why? Why am I? Why? Why would you do this by yourself? Hi, creepy music. Missed ya. You really did. Not really. Uh, e key to interact with. So yeah, controls are very basic, basically. Um, there's a little crouching, I think. I checked out the controls when I was exploring the options. Uh, don't have a flashlight yet, apparently. But uh, I'm assuming we'll get one. And when we do get one, that's where things are going to start to go all wrong. Probably. Hi, creepy music. Why are you still playing? Oh, it's locked. I wonder if it has anything to do with this panel right here. Don't think I want to go there anyways. Thanks for the suggestion, though, game. Really don't. Hmm. Can I open this too? No. It's, again, the panel keeps me locked. What is this, a jump scare aholics Anonymous meeting? Okay, well, I'm gonna go before they, you know, stop resisting the urge to scare the living hell out of me. Yeah. But Mr. Slenderman, you must stop jump scaring people, sir. But I hate humans. I hate all of them. That's how I imagine Slenderman would sound like if he had him out. And if he talked. But he doesn't. Uh, 
You no comments on that? Okay. Yeah, because, you know, doors close all the time. By themselves. That's what doors are supposed to do. Didn't you know? Come on, people. It really is. <laughs> um, hmm. Nothing in here. I'm, I'm, am I missing photos? I hope not. Oh, I think there's one. Yeah, I see it. Can I take it from here? No. I can't. My bad. I wonder what the concept of these photos actually are. Um, I kind of hope there's something like maybe if you get like less than 50% in the ending, you're kind of, you're fired because, you know, you suck as a journalist. And if you get like 80%, you get a promotion. And if you get like 100%, you get your um, own show in the Discovery Channel or something about paranormal investigation. <laughs> that would be kind of cool if that was the ending, actually. <laughs> if we survive this, that is. I kind of have my doubts on that. Okay, flashing light. I don't know why it's flashing. Oh, hey, is this one of the stuff that we need? Yep, it is. Evidence. Drink Coke cans and stuff. Or maybe beer cans, I don't know. We need more pictures of this, and I think I know... Where to get that... Where to get the rest of these. But, uh, not the last one. Except the last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the... Police one was here with the body. Here, saving the photo. And this. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to take it from this angle, I remember. There we go, see? I'm getting this game, guys. Hey, what is this? Let's not descend down any stairs just yet. No following the game's uh, name just yet. And there's a medical thing. Can I get that? No. I'm guessing there's no health system in this game. I mean, I'm hoping that if you die, you die with like one shot. And I mean, there's crouching and running, so I assume there's going to be threats. But uh, of course, I don't know. Maybe not. So I got those. And now I need one. I'm assuming that bunker door is down in the bunker. It makes sense. I think that's safe to assume. Alright, let's go down. Let's descend down the stairs. And this is where everything went. Wow. <laughs> that was a nice sprint he did. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's gone. Everything's gone. Creepy. Um... Hmm. What is... What is this factory about anyways? I wonder. Like, what did they actually build here or do here? What is this... What is it about this factory that... Oh, there we go. That's the door. Yeah, I got all the photos! Busy Vagabonds. I, I am a busy, busy, busy Vagabonds. Thank you. I don't know why, but... Oh, yeah, look, the stairs, guys. Hang on, journal update. What did you update? Oh, my journal. I don't know. Yay. And it's, it's, the stairs never end, and it's saving the game. Good. A chance to rise is the achievement unlocked. Huh. I'm guessing it, it, could, it could be something cool like that, maybe. Like, if you take all the photos, you do get some awesome ending where, you know, Chris is like, top journalist of the newspaper now and working for the New Yorker or the Times magazine or something that would be kind of an interesting twist but most likely he'll die this is a horror game after all and this is actually inspired by real events um, the missing people their story is kind of like uh, so do you guys hear that crying what I found some sort of underground installation beneath the factory. Uh, not liking that picture. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Kind of not liking that one either. Neither this one. Uh, but um, okay. Uh, let's see what else. Blood pressure, nicotine. P what are these? I don't know why you jotted down those words, buddy. But uh. Kinda not understanding why he did that. 
kind of thinking that you might be going insane, Chris. You might want to keep Hello. that. Me? Hello? Who's there? How can you hear me? My name's Valerie. I've been locked in here. You have to help me. Oh, okay, Valerie. Um, I thought you were dead, though. <laughs> so no comments on that, Chris. Really? I think. What is this? A B C D E F. Okay. Maybe this will explain things. Magnus A5000. In order to operate the Magnus A5000, you will need a set of number combination to open it. This is done by aligning the number dials with a corresponding letter to form a combination that is easily remembered. Oh. I think I get it. Okay. So it's just like matching letters to the numbers. Of course, the thing is, though, uh, where the hell is it? Like, the numbers that is. Uh, wait, didn't I see something like that in one of the pictures? I think I... I thought I did. Did I? Nah, okay. Huh. Alright. I'm in here! Here? The key to the door is in that safe. Oh, Find man. the combination and you can set us both free. Set us? I... I mean, you mean you free, not both? Am I trapped in here? Again, no comments on that, Chris? Come on now, she just said something creepy as hell. I renovated the room in the basement well before. If I'm going to do this, it should be done here. Where I can be in control. Right, that sounds totally not creepy at all. But it does. Oh, hi! Hang on. Please stand still while I take a picture of you crying in anguish. <laughs> Hashtag not a douchebag. <laughs> I really am not. Friends came over to see her today. Stayed for hours in her room until I asked them to leave. She was getting a bit too excited. Okay. Wait, how do I back out of this? Ah. Uh, am I stuck? I'm stuck. No. Damn it. The, the only way to exit that thing is like from through escape and now it, it doesn't let me leave. Hang on, can I maybe try again? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we're back. Um, I kind of found out that uh, if you click on your mouse while you're reading the notes, it gets you stuck in the screen like that without possibly being able to back out. So that might be something worth noting, devs. <laughs> Just a thought. Uh, so that's locked. All right. Uh, where's it go? Dad has some kind of archive down there for his research. There has to be something down there. Hurry! Uh, I'm not gonna go down there just yet, Valerie. Uh, give me a sec. Let me like explore this place for other stuff. You know, it's, it's just. The kitchen. He spends a lot of time in there when he's finished with me. How do you know where I'm going? Like you can't see me. Can you? I mean, maybe you can hear me, but... If so, that's very cat-like hearing you got there. It really is. Oh, hey, it's a bathroom. Oh, you took your shoes off for the shitter! How very, uh, considerate of you. <laughs> I'm sure the, uh, thing that flushes down your poop is very... appreciative of your manners. There's probably a real reason why those shoes are off, but you know what? My version is less tra terrifying than it, what it actually is. Uh, okay. Something about... I'm kind of afraid to read notes of, because of getting stuck. But uh, let me read that again. Maybe I, I could... Do I, do I jot these down in my journal or no? Nah? Could she really be Valerie? In that case, who died in the factory if Valerie was down here? I don't know, buddy. But hang on, I might be missing some pictures, actually. Oh, hang on, there's a bathroom picture that I totally forgot about. Um, let's see. Oh, there's another note. Clinical Psychology, second edition. Okay. Careful about clicking. Oh, the pills. I need that. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of like evidence against, you know, whatever is going on down here. And then this. Did I miss anything else? Photo. That desk. 
that disc was another one, I think. Yep. It is. Okay. So... What was that? What did that note say? Let me see. C bookshelf row of F edition of the book. Oh. Okay. Bookshelf row. Second. It was a second edition. So F is two. S clinical psychology. The row of the second edition. And he said row of the book, right? I think. Bookshelf row, yeah. F is the addition of the book. So F is 2. And... Is it 2? No, no, hold on. I'm guessing this is this would be the second row of the bookshelf, wouldn't it? Oh, no, no, se yeah, it is second row of the bookshelf. Because 1, 2. Unless you count it from down here, then it's 3. Oh, no, wait, hold on, there's a... No, this, I thought that was a 1, never mind. Well, okay, we'll find out. Um, that's, so this is either like... Two or three. Good to know. C. Uh, hang on, maybe. No, that doesn't explain anything. All right. Well, so it's either two or C is two or three. Good to know. I'm sure we'll find more clues. So anyway, let me jot that. Let me jot that down. Okay, jotted that down. I can. Valerie, would you mind telling me what that was? No. Okay. Good. I'll just make my own assumptions then. Um, the can was jealous of the fact that we were having such a nice conversation, so it decided to join in. Yep, my version is less terrifying than what it actually is. <laughs> the archive thing. That's that's great. A is 4, D is 7. Oh, oh, thank you. But, uh, that still doesn't help me. Yeah, this was the photo that I needed to take, didn't it? Wasn't it? What else do I need? Oh. Yeah, I remember the boards, but it was it didn't have anything written on them. I don't remember that reflection. So I need to take a photo of this and then... This and a bunch of TVs. Well, okay, good to know. So, a bunch of TVs, creepy door, and creepy shadow. I don't like the creepy shadow thing. Can't open it? Really? Huh. You're trapped here, just like me, Mr. Adams. How do you know my name? I never we told... We need to help each other, Mr. Adams. Don't you want to help me? I really don't now. Now, now that you've gotten extremely creepy, I really actually do not want to help you. So, by the way, what would I, in case bad shit happens in this game, what would I do? Would I be able to hide? She did not take to her new room, Will. Swelling will go down in a day or two. Still hurts like hell, though. Well, pity you. Um. So yeah, I wonder. Like, what would I be able to do if shit went bad? Because I don't think you'll be able to hide anywhere. Well, I mean, maybe you could. You do have a crotch button. But at the same time, you're kind of thinking... Still won't use nicotine patches. Considering nicotine gum. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, good luck on your endeavor to quit smoking. Hmm. I think this is the way we came from. Yeah, it is. Still haven't found a creepy shadow yet. I wonder... I have to get out of here. I don't care what happens. I just want him to stop. But I want to get out of here too. So, you know, could you like stop being creepy and help me out of here? Huh. Uh, what is all this crap? Laundromat. Okay, cool. Any notes here? I don't think I need a photo of this place. I need a photo of a... Speak of the devil! Anisha Lapia! Oh, you want me to get closer to that thing, really? Or, hang on, what, what distance do I need to take that photo from? Yeah, it's about this distance. 
Hey, maybe you could use this, this thing called a zoom button? Which every modern camera has, right about now? Or not? Seriously, what the hell? Take the photo. Save it. Is it- is this- is this not the shadow that I'm supposed to- Yeah, I don't think this is the same shadow. Because it doesn't have the same angle of the corner. See how this photo goes to the left, while this corner turns to the right. So probably not the same shadow. You're not alone down there. Yeah, I- Okay, well he didn't do that before. He didn't do that before. He didn't, he didn't do that before. So now he's doing that. Now he's that that he's moving. It's bad. Uh, sh sh Wait, what was the other photo that I need to do? Besides the door to the TVs, right? I haven't seen the TVs yet. Saving game. Why'd you save game? Well, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the fact that you saved the game. But... Oh, this looks like a place that you're gonna get... Hi! Can I take a photo of you? No? Okay, okay then. I'm, I'm just gonna go this way. You stay right there. Don't move. Don't, don't, please don't move. Moving is bad. Did, you, did I mention that moving is bad for shadows? Need to hurry. I don't know what he'll do when he finds you. Hey, maybe if you stop talking to me, he would l not find me. That's just a thought that I just had. So could you stop doing that? Hey, is this a photo that I need? It, it was. Yay, family ties. That's really good to know. Not. Alright. I need creepy door. <laughs> totally don't trust that shadow! Creepy door. Uh, also, creepy room and TVs. Which I haven't seen yet. Kinda glad. Um, Blood pressure 90 over 60 after Resperidone. We'll change diet. Hopefully vasopressors won't be necessary. Caffeine. Insightful insights by Dr. Asshole. Or, you know, the father of this girl, apparently. Oh man, this game is getting much creepier. Like, it's, it started off kinda slow. But now it's getting there. It's certainly getting there. And I don't exactly know if there is actually... I don't exactly know if there is actually a, a threat in this game. Usually when, you know, a threat doesn't show up for a while, you kind of conclude that maybe this game doesn't have any threats. But... I'm not sure how long I've been here. It has become a routine. He does the same things to me every day. Please don't tell me the details. I really don't need to know. I'm already a sad person, don't need to get any more sadder than that. But yeah, I was saying that I wonder if this game has actual any threats. If it doesn't, then it's cool because it's making a good job of making it seem like there's a threat. And making it doing a good job of making you scared of every corner that you turn. And sometimes that what that's what horror is about, really, even though there might be no threats whatsoever. You still are scared of doing things. Um, really want to find it. Oh, I came back to where I started. The last thing you need is in the storage room behind the green door. Hurry up before uh, he gets back. What? What? That wasn't. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me that I need to get back to. Where I am. Hey, could you stop singing? It's actually rather very disturbing. So I just needed to go back to Valerie apparently and she opened the door for me or maybe her father did. I don't I don't know. Really? So thanks for trapping me in here, Valerie. I So about this last thing I need, you want what you wanna tell me what it is? Because I haven't been able to find it yet. I would be free. Isn't that what you wanted, Mr. Adams? Kind of rethinking the option of you being free. Um, 
Yeah, kind of not wanting it right now. Seriously, what the hell's... What the hell do I do? <laughs> uh... Valerie? You, you want to keep talking to me? No. <laughs> Alright then. How about we keep talking, Valerie? You say creepy things. I say creepy things. Well, not creepy things. I say weird things. Uh, so is she like... Gone? So thanks a lot for nothing, Valerie. Really? Oh... Okay, I didn't really want that to happen, but... B is 6, E is 2. Sorry, Valerie. Uh, I know we had our differences, but I really didn't want you to do that. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't take all the photos yet, but I mean... I, I haven't been able to find them down there. Alright, so I think I got enough for... A is 4. B is 6, F is 2, and D was 7. I think that did it! Yay! So C was 2 then. I, I got a key. What key did I get? Kinda pissed about the fact that I haven't been able to find all the... Or hey, maybe it's the key for this door. Uh, yeah, Valerie said it was. Right? Oh, so wait, that door? Oh, shit. That's not good. So, the room with the TVs, I haven't- I didn't get that. Shit. This sucks. I don't think- I think that's like the exit. Isn't it? Let's just level. Or maybe not, I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. <laughs> Part of me hopes that it is. Part of me wants to find the room with the TVs, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of concerned that uh, Valerie is going to do something crazy. And that we're totally going to be completely, completely screwed. Hey, any notes here? Seems like there will be notes here, but alright. Alright, that's cool. Oh! Yeah, creepy. Oh, I got all the photos. I'm, I'm, I'm so cool. I'm such a good journalist. Right? Behind you. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Excuse me while I go into the shitter and never come back out. <laughs> Alright? Please excuse, do excuse the fact that I'm in the shitter. Oh, you're still there! Hey! So, uh. <laughs> That's not funny. It really isn't funny. I mean, you think it's funny. But you and I have a very sense different sense of humor. You, on the other hand, think... Maybe you should go join that jump a, jump a scare holics Anonymous meeting. Uh, that's just a thought. Pills. Yay. So, Valerie, I would really appreciate not y you, you not doing these things. What is this? Choose a door that will not kill you? What about this door? What is it? Dude. Okay. I can open that door. Sounds like that I unlocked something in here. Oh. 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 Ah! I get this game now. I kind of get this game a little better now. I don't have any more diff pictures, right? No. Good. Because now... I'm set on that fact. I can, like, focus on not, you know, dying. Which is... Alright. Saving game. I'm gonna cut it here, guys. Um, 
mainly because I've been playing for a lot, some time, because of some of the bugs. But, no, it's not because I'm completely, completely terrified. No, it is certainly not that. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm definitely enjoying this game so far. I don't know if there are, like I said, any real threats, but it's... This game is making me feel like that I'm gonna die in, like, at least two seconds. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.